So we're gonna we're gonna teach pirate how to paint. So we okay. need to shape. Does pirate have a wave? He has a shake. Okay. Let's see a shake. Good job. Okay. Can you get him to um, move his foot without actually catching it in your hand? I think so. Nice. Good. Good. Okay. So that's the motion we're going to want. Okay. The end result we want is we want him to strike the paper attached to the easel multiple times with the paint paw on. Okay. So um, as we start to get that motion, okay. Yes. Good job. Do it again. Yes. Okay. So he seems to be real comfortable with that. Why don't we try the easel and see if he'll um, touch the easel instead of your hand now? Yes. Good, Good job. job. See if you can get another, and we're looking for, he, he keeps trying both paws, but we're looking, that's it, we're looking to yes. reward Good the job. right paw, because we're looking, he's, he's predominantly right pawed, so we're looking to get that right paw rewarded. Good job. Okay. Yes. Oh, nice. nice. That's, I would jackpot that one. That was very nice. Okay. If you can get him to com continue Good doing job. successive pawing motions on the paper like that, you can go ahead and name the action. Yes, nicely done. Good boy. Good job, pirate. Yes. Okay. Now remember how we add a cue? Pirate. Paint. Yes, nice Good job. <laughs> and we want to make sure that we're only saying the cue once so that we can continue to get multiple strokes to the cue so when we actually go and introduce the paint. We meet the badge requirements that way. Pirate paint. <laughs> yes. Good. Good, Good ignoring of the, of the non-dominant foot. Okay. So you continue that, and the next step would be to add a sock, and then repeat the process, going back to the beginning and starting with the starting with the simple hand touches Sit. again, and then paint. reintroducing the easel with the paint Sit. with the sock on his foot. Okay. Paint. Good job, yes. little man. Nice. Okay. Good. So we're, what we're going to teach Ella today as part of the painting is she has to get used to wearing socks on her feet. So she also has to get used to having her feet handled. So we want to get her comfortable with the what socks. Is it? What is it? What is it? Any interaction with the Good. socks? Good. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Okay. Make sure you use your, your marker word, your yes and a treat. What is it? What is it? What is it? Is it like it? Yes. Good girl. Don't touch any claw. You're wearing a sock. Lots of treats yes. at this point because those really help. We want to really increase the positive association and make sure that the dogs are very comfortable and having fun. Painting should be fun. You wear the sock? Yes, you are. Good girl. Good. Can I pick up your foot? Paw? Paw? This paw? Okay, you can do this. No dreams. No sneaky. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Walk. Good girl. Now for a dog like Ella who doesn't like to have her feet handled, spending Walk. extra time at this yeah. stage can really help good make girl. painting fun for both of you. Good girl. That's a good girl. Can you put your sock on? Oh look, it doesn't do anything. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. And, and slow, small, yeah. small steps really makes makes the way is the way to go. And that's what we talk about when we talk about shaping. Yep. Like that. This way? This way? Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Do you like that? Can I put it on? What do you think? What? What? Put it on? Can I put it on? Good girl. Nice.
nice job, Ella. Yeah. Yeah. And then once she's used to wearing the sock, she would go back and start those painting strokes again. And this may take a couple of days yeah. to get her really comfortable. Yeah. But good job, Ella. Good job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a good job. Is that a pretty sock? Oh, it's a pretty sock. Good job, Ella. <laughs> so Phantom is used to wearing the sock, and he's already gotten the paw motion down. So now we're asking for the same motion. Yes, go on. Onto the easel good with the job. sock on the foot. Good job, Phantom. Good job. I think he's actually counted the treats you yes. have in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. Why? There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, so the next step would be to add paint to his his paw. Okay, so we take our we can take a little bit of blue paint and Put it on our palette. How's he doing? Let's see what he's got. Very nice. This is Nemo for his painting badge. And that's Oliver. He's watching to learn. It's a little cold out here today. We had snow yesterday, so... Nemo's getting ready to go on a vacation ride to California, so he's made, making me a painting to leave on my refrigerator.
that one. Yes, good. Very good, thank you. You take the, the without the booty. Now that paint's probably very cold. <laughs> <laughs> you should see his face. <laughs> no, I should have done it with a different color. He's blue because he's leaving his auntie Sherry. Oh boy. Very nice. I should get a great glob on my sweatshirt. <laughs> oh, right, you have to see me cleaning up. <laughs> While you're cleaning, can you tell us a little bit about operant condition and how you use this for this particular badge? How this skill will help him in real life, or how you how you used operant conditioning to teach him how to do? Uh, well, I started. Nemo's been clicker trained. So he understands the use of a marker, and uh, I worked with him on offering his paw, and then once he was comfortable with that, I started increasing the duration. So first I would reach and catch his paw, and then I would take a little bit longer and increase my cue, which was a hand, make, almost looking like I was milking a cow, and asking him, to increase his um, his duration of having his paw out and then I got him comfortable wearing the booty and unfortunately for poor Nemo since he's had so many injuries to his paws wearing something on his feet generally means he's injured so I had to make sure he was comfortable with that and still willing to perform the behavior of waving, pawing, wearing a little booty on and then once he was comfortable with that we did a few dry runs of him just touching his paw to the canvas and working with him on not just one quick touch and then he was done, but really working on repeated strokes. And we actually practiced that a lot when he was doing his peanut work. I would have him balance on the peanut and I would ask him to wave his paw at me several times with a long duration working on two things, working on his core and working on duration for keeping his paw up in the air for multiple swipes. Uh, he's had a lot of fun with this. Nemo loves shaping exercises. He loves trying to figure out what we're doing. Yeah. He loves it.